I am Andrew Feldmar. I am a psychologist. I have practiced uh, psychotherapy for about 40 years in Vancouver, Canada. Um, I belong to the Canadian Psychological Association. And uh, right now I'm involved in uh, a study uh, uh, with the help of MAPS. Um, Ingrid Pacey, a Vancouver psychiatrist, and myself are uh, uh, starting a study about uh, the effectiveness of MDMA as an adjunct to psychotherapy. Uh, so why MDMA? Why are we studying MDMA? Well, studies that have uh, been already completed uh, way before uh, it became uh, an illegal substance and now recently with a change in uh, um, the attitude of the times. It looks like MDMA allows one to enter into a state of consciousness where uh, suddenly, maybe for some people for the very first time in their lives, uh, they find themselves without shame. They find themselves with an open heart where maybe for decades their heart has been closed and they haven't even noticed it. So it allows for connection. The major effect of PTSD is inability to make meaningful connections. Uh, uh, Judith Lewis Herman, a Harvard psychiatrist, actually argues that uh, all the uh, syndromes listed and catalogued uh, in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual uh, that the American Psychiatric Association uses all of it really boils down to PTSD. So if we can make headway with uh, um, <clears throat> an efficient way of relieving people from the after effects of trauma or traumas, then in a way we alleviate uh, the entire field of uh, uh, mental distress, not just what is now strictly believed to be PTSD.